Okay, so welcome to the Live Legend Best Breakdown again. This is the second episode with this is the second episode with the semi scripted format, opinionated, and uh, just by experience base. With story chapter four added to Atelier Rosleriata, we got once our Melody Claudia and Secret Amnesia Valeria. Claudia is the ice supporter, while uh, Valeria is the um C uh, slash breaker slash breaker. So Valeria is slash element, so five percent resistance. This one, her skill one manual attack allows her to give out sixty six damage, six percent stun with a weight time of one hundred. Now before attacking, she will remove debuffs. So if there's lower shield or lower uh, lower defense, lower attack, uh, whatever the enemy that will throw it on you, you will not. Um, you will be able to debuff uh, Valeria's negative effects on her. Think of it like a cleanser in Love Life All Stars terms. But after attacking, after attacking an enemy, she will grant a negative effect immunity to Valeria for one turn. For a second, um, this will be useful if there will be enemies that will encase debuffing. Uh, will will usually debuff your characters. But if you have Valeria by your side, this three star variant, by the way, not the uh, one star Valeria. You, she, she is going to be immune for a short while, so pretty useful if you don't want to like, uh, if you don't want to deal with um, so many debuffs when, whenever the, whenever the score battles will give you like, uh, if you break that character, the dab, you will get lower damage kind of situation. Yeah, skill two or auto play skill allows her to boost, well, physical attack, melee attack, magical attack. And speed by 10% for one turn. This also boosts physical and magical defense by one uh, by 10% for one attack. So this only lasts if Valeria, um, if Valeria is being attacked by one enemy. Well, the enemies will only get a slight decremental damage from both. And if, if anyone were to hit Valeria, so with a damage of 240% and 27%. Done with a weight top of 175. This is slightly shorter by 25% from other uh, characters with autoplay skill weight time 200, which is the average. The the gist, however, is that after attacking, this will only last for one turn, meaning Valeria can use it until it's her turn to do that. And then for one attack, meaning if enemies were to attack uh, Valeria, well, that will only wear out for one attack. Physical attack, melee attack speed, useful if you want to rush out boss battles. So, damage to 240 and 27% stun, useful. And Veil of Night, um, one enemy as well. So, Veil of Night has a slash element which is 500% damage, 93% stun. Uh, weight time of 200, boost damage from 10 to 120 in proportion to her own buff effects applied. So, uh, this does not include unlimited buff effects activated at the start of the battle, so only temporary buffs. More damage per buff, which is a maximum of one of wing. So more damage per buff. So I'm guessing you you can boost like 120 total. Um, I guess the more buffs that she has, such as the healing restoration or or physical mental um, attack or defense buffs. That can multiply bell areas with the maximum 20. I haven't thought of it, what was the maximum 20. So it boosts damage for 120, so it'll grant like up to 620% of the cap, but it will stack depending on how, mu how many buffs that you need to take. So in proportion to the buff effect applied. I'm not sure if it's going to be for, uh, for each stack of buff, but I think it's going to be for each stack of buff, so likely uh, either for turn or attack. It's very OP for slash attack, but I'm not more or less focusing on the tier list of which one you should get the most powerful. And for stats-wise, Valeria is 685, that is her highest stat, physical attack, with 260 speed. Very useful, I mean, some enemies will eventually speed up anyway, so might as well bring in speed base no more. She has a passive of Compact Strain, which is boost, which uh, which buffs damage for skill at 15%. 
and it's swamp resistant by 30%. So if there if there's an enemy enemy that will uh, try to pick all other all other characters, Valeria will have more than a third of a chance to well be immune from taunt status. So if there will be enemies nearby that has the taunt effect, Valeria will likely be immune to that. So she'll be able to like not attract or more I guess combat against that single enemy. So. Her gift colors are starting with blue and ending with green. Slash Blessing, uh, which is a slash boost damage to, uh, four to uh, 5 to 45. Reduce slash this slash curves. Reduce slash resistance by 1 to 10 for 1 attack as for enemies. And slash damage boost, which grants, her, grants skill damage by 3 to 25%. I'd say a slash, uh, a slashing terrific character. Uh, she'll be able to sustain on her own if you're gonna use her in um, in manual battles for autoplay uh, because uh, she will always grant physical, mental, and attack speed by an inter incremental stat. Useful to useful in um, useful for battles that are weak against slash and um, very much um, very much a strong character. It, the more buffs that this three-star Valeria has the better. So if auto player manual, if you get a user in, if you get a user burst skill, um, expect to at least, you know, you might want to recommend other characters that have the particular positive buff. Don't go for permanent buffs, just go for the turn-based buffs and Valeria will do fine. Quite a strong character to hold on against enemies with uh, weak against uh, slash attribute. Quite a nice one. Claudia, one summer melody. Um, her strongest stat, however, is 608 on both physical and man uh, magical defense. Speed is 240, though. Ice resistance of 5% expected. Manual skill is secret code, which is 75% damage, 8% stun damage, and 100 wait time. So after attacking, uh, she'll boost the target damage received by 10% for two attacks, basically a debuff for enemies. Claudia will be able to uh, assist enemy, assist allies with ice breaking damage, or any other, <laughs> any other enemy that's going to be weak against that particular element. So it does not have, uh, does not have an elemental resistance uh, particularly. Just all elements will be receiving damage received. General Lego Flagellate. Flagellate. Flageolette. Which has a damage of 250% damage, 37% stun, and 200 weight turn. This is single target, which reduces target's ice resistance by 25% for 3 attacks, and boosts all enemies' ice damage by 25% for 1 turn. Ah! Pretty useful. Pretty useful autoplay, the uh, plot, by the way. Uh, because, just for 1 turn, I mean, this will last until it's the, it's the character's turn to cast an attack. Um, if you have if you have other characters like Rodolna and Bionic, and also the upcoming Leva, they'll be able to take advantage of uh, Claudia's uh, autoplay skill. Rodolna with the mysterious pie, Bionic with the exploding carrots, and then uh, Leva with the shield breaking burst skill. Yep. If Bo if Claudia uses that autoplay skill, then oh boy. Those enemies are like, like having a significant hurting. As for ice resistance, 25% for 3 attacks. That is a good idea. It will try to debuff, at least for that one particular enemy, for ice based enemies. I like this out of place skill. Not for reverse. Grand Finale! Um, ice attribute, single target, 500% damage at 93 stun, 200%. Um, before attacking, reduce target's ice resistance by 50 for dirt. Three attacks. So, um, comparing to her skill too. Wow, this is this is high. But um, unlike skill two, which allows her to boost allies' ice damage for for twenty five percent for one turn, this allows her to give the target damage received by twenty percent for two attacks. So, if that if that enemy were, were to survive in uh, from uh, Claudia's burst, ah. Uh, yeah, there's no money. It is going to be so hurtful. Like I said, if you have ice characters, this is the one to go. Re she is, um, she is like the best ice supporter so far. Um, at least until we get, um, Leela has ice elements, so 
useful, but Rodon and Violet, you're gonna have a good time with this one. If you were to get Claudia, that is. Advance all melee uh, magical attack by 1%, so what? Increase all allies melee attack by 5%, and Paralysis resist up, which allows to... Which allows um, all party members, well, I guess, um, one particular, uh, for one particular character like Claudia, um, she will less likely to get um, to skip a turn because of paralysis. So, say if you were to get hit by Lara, um, Lara's first skill, uh, Valerian will like will have more, will have higher chances of trying to engage in battle in story C story chapter two. You might wanna check out the story if you want to find out what I'm talking about. Uh, gift colors are purple and red, however. So start with purple and end with red. Ice curse allows allows ice resistance for, for the enemy for one to ten. We debuff by one to ten percent for one attack. Ice shield boosts ice resistance by one to eight percent for one attack. I'm guessing that's for allies and Last but not least, ice damage boost, 3 to 25% ice skill damage boost. Alright, so quite a unique ice supporter. If you already have existing ice element characters, then um, then Valeria is the way to go. Slash, however, go for Valeria. Valeria is also, uh, is also a strong character. Granted that she can also self-sustain self herself by a little bit. And also, well, boost boost all of her stats for one attack, but for attack, just for one turn, so. Recommended? Yes. Try your luck on Valeria for, uh, for combat, uh, combat-wise, uh, strong, uh, chemistry. As for, as for those who want to go to Colombia, which I will have to wish on, because <laughs> I only have 50 wishes left on this banner, then if you already have max level grow for, uh, Robona or Violet, Five star. Good way to good way to get that similar character going. Although each of them are like for one particular element for synthesis. Um, Valeria is more preferable to get in the Legend Fest than uh, Claudia. Now, before I finish the stream, unfortunately, there I don't have either of the two. Um, I won't be doing Devil Battle this time. Now, in those setting moments, which is a feature of Memoria in this Legend Fest matter. Um, it does have, um, uh, it does have, if you're to attack an enemy with slash or, slash or stab attack, which is, um, gray and stab, which is, um, which is heal brown, leather brown for slash and stab for green one. This, this boosts the cat, the equip character's skill damage by 21 for two turns, so it's a big help if you're to get this one in... If you're to get this one base, uh, at least this memorial will be useful. Uh, this also features Valeria and Liza, by the way. 11.25% buffs, 11.75% uh, speed buff, and then 23.75% buff for physical and magical attack, and 13.75% for defense in both sides. So, um, I'd say it's not necessarily better than... Um, not necessarily better than uh, Sophie and Plakta's banner, but at least for the next banner, for the new chapter, you can if, if you're focusing on a particular element that you want to, um, uh, if you want to go, um, if you want to chart, if you want to focus on one specific element, I'd say it's a good way to start with building an ice team, uh, ice team, uh, or if you want to go for Vale Valeria, Valeria is somewhat better. But as a sustain character and also a stack, uh, buff stacking burst, burst uh, DPS. So quite recommended batters today. So that's going to be it for this Legend Fest breakdown. And I know it's off script. Then. Don't forget to check out the new chapter, Story 4. Uh, expect sto story, story spoilers along the way. So, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Discord server in the video description. And I'm also opening up my new social account on Blue Sky. Uh, go check it out in the new updated stream live stream description for this video. So, see you guys in the next Legend Fest breakdown. Hopefully it's going to be 
Ellie and Lily. See you guys next time. Goodbye. See you soon. <laughs>